What's good? It's your boy, Hammy. And I'm Mitzon, and this is your breaking news. December 11th, there's a green dot bystander training for the juniors in the multi-purpose room. December 13th, the ECTC dual credit classwork begins. December 14th, there's an ACT in the freshman wing from 7 to 1 p.m. Sports, December 9th is a swimathon. Also on the 9th, there is a basketball game versus Grayson at 6.30 to 8 at home. December 10th, Bowling double header versus Central North and North Harden at Dixie Lane Z Town at five to nine PM. Also on the tenth is a basketball game versus E Town at six to seven thirty away. December thirteenth basketball game against Bethlehem at six seven thirty at home. December fourteenth Harmons Hardwood Classic at home seven thirty. Also on the fourteenth there is a Woodford County swim meet. I wanted David Christian with their special guest. Hello, I'm David. And I'm Christian. And today we are here with music producer Big Al. No, it is. So we're going to be asking you a few questions all today. Right. First of all, how much time goes into making your beats? Like 15 minutes to 6 hours. That's the longest I've done. You know, I was wondering what causes you to uh, you know, pursue your dreams and fuel your passion for music? Mm, like, I feel like I can make music a whole lot faster than these other producers. Straight facts. So, facts. if you have to pick three artists right now to collab with, who would you collab with? Oh, uh, that's easy. Ice Cube, Kendrick Lamar, Dead Boy Benny. All right, big guy. Out of all the beats you've ever produced, what is your favorite? Well, there is this one I got for Tyler Crater and uh, Billy Olive, and um, I think they'd really be good on it. We hear it. I want to hear okay, that. Okay, sure. Alright, Big Al, so do you have any new projects or albums dropping soon? Well, I wasn't going to say it, but, you know, I might drop a hint or there. But my new album's called Struggle Bars, and it's uh, releasing next year between January or February 2020. You heard it first. Mm-hmm. 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 And, you know, I might, I'm just thinking about it, I might drop a Christmas song. Big Al's Christmas album. Yeah. Alright, thank you Big Al for coming in and talk to us. Hopefully we'll have you back. Yeah. Alright, next time. Now on to JoJo with his special interview. How long have you been working here at Nelson County and why? I started here in August and I just wanted to be around the students. My my kids graduated from here. My husband graduated from here. So I'm really excited about starting this new year off here at Nelson County. Do you like working here and why? Yes, I do like working here. I love taking care of the students. Um, my main goal was to get some numbers up in the feeding this year, and we have accomplished that so far. So I'm pretty happy. 
How are you treated here at Nelson County? I'm treated really good here. The, the staff has been great. They welcomed me with open arms. Working with Jennifer has been an asset because, you know, her being new and me being new, so we're kind of learning together. So it's great. Definitely learning together. How do you like it here at El Nelson County and why? I love it here at Nelson County. I graduated here in 1990. Now I'm telling my age, but um, I, I love I love it here. It's very nice school this year. There's a lot of changes going on, and they're all great changes. So excited to see what the new next year is going to bring. How do you treat students here and why? I welcome with open arms and like, you know, if the kids come in here, they're excited to eat. So I'm excited. So each kid, child, student is all treated the same. The students are our customers. Yes. So we have to treat them like they are, spe they are special. So. Yeah, I can, I can actually relate to that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for watching. Have a great week, cards. Stay fly, cards.